seven strides, seven steps upon this earth and said, I'm supreme in this world. <coughs> to you, who then revealed your wisdom, I prostrate you of perfect form, supreme in possessing the utterly pure kayas, ocean of wisdom. You are like a golden mountain, your fame radiating throughout the three worlds. Protector who attained the highest level, to you I prostrate. You have sup the supreme marks, you are countenance like the immaculate moon, your color like gold. To you I prostrate, to you free of all flaws, unmatched in the three realms, unequaled in the wisdom you possess. To you I prostrate, protector with great compassion, being omniscient, you are the teacher. Homage to omniscient one, purified and consummate, sir. victorious, virtuous and transcendent, and thus go and for destroying, until the perfect Buddha, full of wisdom and feet, and the feet of wisdom, the blissfully proceeding, the knower of the world, charioteer and the subduer of beings, unsurpassable, the teacher of gods and men. Such is Buddha, victorious, virtuous, and transcendent. He who is thus gone exemplifies the merit which is his cause. In him, the root of virtue is ever worn away. Through the, his manifold patience, he is exceedingly beautiful. He is the treasure ground of merit, adorned with the tokens of enlightenment. He is graced with the flowers of perfect Buddhahood. All his dust is seasonable. Reasonable and reasonable and opportune and nothing inharmonious mars the sight of him. True joy indeed he gives to those who open up his dear heart to him in faith. Through the full brilliance of his wisdom he is unconfounded. The, and against his power there is no victory. He is the teacher of all beings, the father of the body. All bodhisattvas, the king of all superior ones. He is the guide of those who journey to the city of beyond, city of beyond afflictions. His wisdom is unbounded. His assurance is beyond imagining. His speech is altogether pure, well tuned, and sweet to hear. Gazing on him, one is never stated, sated. He, his body is beyond compare. By the realm of desire, he is unstained, and by the realm of form. He, is wholly uncontaminated. He is not mingled with the formless. He is altogether free from misery and from their aggregates. Or he is utterly and altogether free. Their elements have no hold on him. He has mastery of the sense powers. All bonds he has completely severed, and from all pain he is perfectly and totally released. No craving does he have. He has passed beyond the stream 
perfect is his wisdom. And in the wisdom of Buddha's past, present, and to come, he has made his dwelling. In Nirvana, where all suffering is transcended, he does not abide. He is, his abode is in the very summit of perfection, residing in that place where he perceives all living beings. Such are the sublime qualities, which are the greatness of the Buddha, victorious, virtuous, and transcended. The sacred doctrine is righteous in the set. Righteous in the middle, righteous in the end. In its meaning, excellent. And in its words and syllables, likewise. It is integral and unalloyed. It is all su sufficing, altogether pure and purifying. Well spoken is the dha this dharma by the victorious, virtuous and transcendent. It is a perfect way of seeing and is devoid of ailment. It is perennial and leads us onward. To see this dharma is to fulfill one's purpose. The wise will see it in their self-cognizing wisdom. The dharma spoken by the victorious, virtuous and transcendent is shown to be well tempered to the instructions and needs of all. It drives us from samsara and causes us to go to perfect Buddhahood. It is free from contradiction and in it all is summarized. It is totally to be relied upon. It is a cut, cutting of the root. The Sangha of Mayana comprises those who have well entered, wisely trained, entered, entered with straightforwardness and aptitude. Right? It is to join our hands before them and right to make prostrations. They are glorious. They are glorious, filled of merit. They are the perfect recipient of gifts. Which they are the object of offering everywhere and always. They are the worthy object of offering. Thus ends the Sublime Sutra of remembering the three jewels. Next is the cloud of ambrosial blessings, a prayer relating to this sublime series of lives of the great sovereign protector, all-knowing, all-seeing, Lord of the victorious ones, our guide in existence and peace, His Holiness Dalai Lama, series of lives. Um, Om Swasti praised like an immaculate lotus by the Buddhas, displaying great courage in, his, in this realm and age of strife, embodiment of the four kayas, who has perfected elimination and realization, sublime teacher who fulfills all goals, bestow virtue and good fortune. Though fully enlightened as the sublime essence of the Sugathas, you appear as the foremost son of infinite life and light, Soul guide in the land of snows, embodiment of all the Buddha's compassion. To you, the teacher of Alakitishora, we pray. In the dramatic display of your manifestations as a protector for benefiting beings, you have come successively as supreme conquerors, 36 emanations in the sublime land of India, 10 Dharma kings in Tibet, and 17 accomplished Panditas, a line in of incarnations as majestic and beautiful as a range of golden mountain to the king lord of universe of the universe and radiant child child of light and the prince free of desire ever joyful and king divine birth and to the dharma king servant of the three jewels we pray to the bodhisattva firm faith glorious and excellent unshakable faith king burgeoning in intellect joyful holder of the vow of chastity, the Upasaka well respected, and the, to glorious Jim, you upheld the Vinaya, who upheld the Vinaya, and we pray, to moon child, and jewel essence, lotus, and rays of love, lion's roar, and the Bodhisattva glory of sublime bliss, and to divine king, we pray, to he who expands the community, and king of Purang, Golden Anther and Hair Emanation, Child of Hair, Eight, Shepherd like King, and to the Brahmin, Loveliest Gem, we pray. To Excellent Concentration, Sage of the Ch Churnal Ground, King of the Island, and Solon, the Wanderer, King, Giver of Refuge, the Emperor, Upholder of Learning, and to the Dharma King, Glorious Virtue, we pray. <coughs> To the Lion of Kings, who first ruled the land of snows, Natu Sempo, from the great Sala lineage, Sala lineage, Esholek, and Detul Namshungsen, and sovereign king, 
a sovereign Yongul Nyemede, we pray. So this is a Tibetan uh, reincarnation of Vigdeshwara. Uh, to the king Drabungzen and Tori Nyenzen, in whose reign the Sagat Dharma first appeared in Tibet, and to Songzen Gampo, who had the two statues of Shakyamuni brought to Tibet and established the grammar and the law, we pray. To Du Songje, who introduced tea, porcelain, and other customs of Tibet, and to the Lord Tisung Detsen, who built a center of learning in three architectural styles, invited the abbot and the master, had brought the scriptures and commentaries, and established the monastic order, we pray. To Tirebachen, who revised the translations, put all the teachings in order, and worked hard to support the Sangha. And to Krishnacharya, who attained the accomplishment of Jagasambara and brought the Dharma to 13 lands, we pray. To the great Dromdun Gyeve Jungnen, heart son of Dipankara, Adisha, and father of the Gadam tradition. To the great treasure finder, Ngada Nyang and to Guru Chirvang, who received the epitome of Lama's secrets, we pray. To the great Pandit of Pandit of Ngari Pema Wangyal, Wangbude, master of the Northern Treasure, who acquired miraculous powers, Shigil Pakpa, who subjugated Mongolia and brought peace to Tibet, and to the most learned Pema Dorje from Timpal, we pray. To Kaje Gwambawa, accomplishing the practice of Vaishravan, Sachin Kunga Nyingbo, who was blessed by the Virupa, Dogon Yudagpa, who obtained the real <coughs> signs of accomplishment, Yazang Chemenje, we pray. To Sumdun Yishizung, who cured, cured physical and mental ailments, Paji Bum, who protected beings from fear, Dakjen Lodagel, the monk from the Kun lineage, Kun family, and to Rinchen Kencho. We pray to Sami Samyepa, son of the second Buddha's speech, <clears throat> to Jamyang Cheje, who founded Jamyang Cheje, who founded Drepung, and to all the others who display the magical shows of countless emanations in the infinite fantastical Margic array. We pray, born in the Se Rinich, Se region, in the family of Gurmi Narpa. <clears throat> The sublime heart of Jamgun Tsongkhapa, given the title omniscient by the most famous and learned Panditas. To the victorious Gedundrup, we pray from this, the 14th Dalai Lama incarnation start. So born at Dharma in the great family of Sektun, Dar, Sektun Dar. From three years of age, he chanted spontaneously. He opened up sacred lands and acquired great learning. To the incomparable Gindin Gyatso, we pray. So that was the blessing for the tea. Descended from the translator, Marin Chinchok, in Lower Dulu. He took birth intentionally, as predicted by Urgen. Subjugating the borderlands, he studied a hundred, studied a hundred treatises to the learned and accomplished Sonam Gyatso, we pray, the third Dalai So that's the blessing for the sweetened tea, the sweetened rice, sorry. Born in Mongolia in the family of Genghis Khan, he declared himself of Lokiteshwara. Come to benefit Chinese, Mongolians, Tibetans, and others difficult to tame. To Yundin Gyatso, we pray, taking birth at Chongye in the Sahor family. In 25 pure visions, be, he, be, he beheld the three roots and brought lasting peace to Tibet, combining spiritual and temporal rule. To Ngawang Losan Gyatso, we pray, the fifth Dalai Lama. Born in the Nyu clan in the lower valley of Tsona, he attained the lofty level of his com and accomplished Vidyadhara. <clears throat> and cared for beings, maintaining the power of awareness. To Rinchen Tsangyang Gyatso, we pray the sixth Dalai Lama, manifesting physically in the Drom clan at Hajul in Litang. Many people saw him in the form of innumerable different Buddhas, preserver of the Gelug teachings, holder of the Gala Chakra to the Gala Chakra, to the sublime Buddha Kyasang Gyatso, we pray the seventh Dalai Lama, descended from the Royal line of Gezer, born in the province of Tsang, blessed with knowledge. 
blessed with knowledge, he was equal to of Manjushri, the equal of Manjushri. For him, there was no hindrance to teaching, debate, and competition. To love son Jambil Jatsu, we pray. Born in the Den region, in the royal family, blessed by the Lord <coughs> Gyokchen. Gyokchen. He could remember the past as if it were the present, holder of the doctrine who had visions of supreme deity. To Ngawang Lung Do Jiaozhu, we pray from the noble family, born in front of Gongang <coughs> Shuruk. So this is the seven-line prayer of Guru Padmasambhava. So he introduced fair taxation for all, learned, disciplined, good-natured, the crown ornament of the doctrine holders to the incomparable Sutim Gyatso, we pray. Born in the Bodhisattva family in the region of Garthar, he actually saw Sri Devi in the sacred lake. He perfect, perfected the highest qualities of learning and realization in the three trainings to Ngawang Chetruk Gyatso, we pray. Born in the celestial family of Olga in Uru, at, the, at birth, he sat cross legged in meditation and left a footprint, marvelous in all respects, unrivaled in his knowledge. To Jetun Tinle Gyatso, we pray. Born of noble family at Langdun in Lower Dakwa, he revised the system of degrees in learning and widely bestowed the Moksha vows. He beat the great drum of Tibet's complete independence to the matchless Tutin Gyatso, we pray. <coughs> Jamgun Lama. Who, you who revealed your Buddha form in Eastern Tibet, in the family that kept the traditions of the Central Tibet region, you were wondrously born at Takser. Accordingly, according to Belden Lama's prediction to you, in we pray. You alone performed the perfect activities of the sublime Buddhas, all the Buddha's teachings without distinction. You have the power to behold, preserve, and propagate. Jambang Agi Wongbo, empowered with Manjushri's speech. To you we pray. In your learning and understanding, you compare with six ornaments and the two sublime, supreme ones. In respecting in the training of a monk, you are equal to Arahat Upali. In your perfect activities, you are the victor. Tsongkhapa in person. Lovsan Yishi, excellent intellect and wisdom. To you we pray. For, for compassionately promoting the path of non-violence, you have received the highest awards of, for peace. Respected worldwide, you are Kali Chakra in person. Jewel like Tenzin Gyatso, ocean holder of the doctrine, to you we pray. You have happily granted democratic rights they never had before to the fortunate Tibetans who are your spiritual subjects. Protect the ruling of the three worlds with loving, compassionate hearts. Incomparable, the one without equal, to you we pray. Protector, may your three secrets stay forever firm on the Vajra throne. May you remain in to, to guide afflicted beings in this degenerate age, unceasingly turning the wheel of profound and vast teachings. May you cause all beings to find relief in everlasting happiness. Our Lord and Refuge, in all, in our, all our lives may we be born in the pasture of your compassionate protection. Bless us that we may be delighted, diligent in the Bodhisattva activities, extensively benefiting beings, numerous as the sky is vast. May the stainless tradition of the Buddha's teachings spread in the ten directions. May the doctrine holders increase in their activities. May all beings enjoy every kind of happiness. And may the wishes of the Tibetans be spontaneously and unobstructedly fulfilled. So this prayer was written by Chapter Trishi Rambuche, Ngawan Chugilote. Next, we have the long life ritual. 
using uh, based on the fifth Dalai Lama's visionary uh, ritual of Amitya use, which is called extracting the essence or ambrosia.
in the center, in the east, Purva Videha, in the south, Jambudvila, in the west, Apara Godena, Godaniya, in the north, Uttarakura, and in, to the east, Deha and Videha, to the south, Chamara and Aparacham, 
to the west shot and Uttara Mantrina, to the north of Ur, Kurav and Kauravi. Here are the jeweled mountains, the wishing tree, bountiful cow, and the spontaneous harvest, this precious wheel, the precious jewel, the precious queen, the precious minister, the precious elephant, the commercial marvelous precious horns, the precious general, and the vast and of great wealth. Here are the lady of charm, lady of garland, lady of song, lady of dance, lady of flowers, lady of incense, the incense of the lady of uh, lamps and the lady of perfume. Here are the sun and the moon. Here are the jeweled canopy and the banner of universal victory. In the center is all bountiful wealth of gods and men. All these pleasing offerings, pure, perfect, and complete, we offer to you, precious root guru, together with all glorious teachers of the lineage. In particular, we offer these pure realms to <coughs> you, complete master of the doctrine, refuge, and protector, lord of the conquerors, omniscient and all seeing. Glorious and noble lord, that from your lips, that you may live for a hundred eons, accept it with your compassion for the sake of all beings, and accept, accepting it, grant your blessing, we pray. This ground, anointed with scented water and strewn with flowers, is adorned with Sumeru, the four continents, the sun and the moon, and the sun and the moon. Think of it as a, thinking of it as a blessed Buddha field, we offer it to you. May all beings enjoy the happiness of the perfect, pure Buddha fields. Jesuit <laughs> Paying homage, having paid homage to Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, Your Holiness, you are the sole refuge of the Tibetan people. You are the Upadhyaya, or the Precept Master. For me, qualified with three kindnesses, you bestowed in me. So at your throne, the lion, lion throne, the vajra feet, I make this request. This request comes from the Tibet, Tibetan Children's Village, to the current members and the former members, teachers, other staff and children. 
as well as North America, Tibetans from North America. Though you have you were enlightened eons and eons ago, reached the perfect state of Buddhahood from the vantage point of which you are able to give teachings in accordance with the mental dispositions of the sentient beings and your enlightened activities and your emanations serving sentient beings across the expense of the space cannot be fathomed by us. So an ordinary person like me, how can I fathom such a vast expanse of and Latin activities, but just to mention a few of your activities, Avalokiteshwara emanated in the form of the Ogre, the apes, and spread your progenitors, and then there were the Dharma kings, as in the Kadam book of Kadam says, you will, will manifest in the form of humans. And so, from the time of the first Dalai Lama Gendutrup, you emanated as the uh, disciples and followers of the Master Tsongkhapa. And then from the fifth Dalai Lama's time, you have taken the, both the temporal and spiritual leadership and then in accordance with the teaching of the Buddha, and in the past also, there were many features of the Tibetan governance which are similar to democratic system of governance where both the lay people and monastics took responsibility in the administration of the government and so forth. And it was not an authoritarian rule. So there were there were many different features of the Tibetan system of governance, which is similar to democratic system. Jimbe 
And then there was the priest and patron relationship between the Tibetan rulers and the Chinese rulers. Chilochitong, Chimsey the 13th Dalai Lama also made lots of changes in the Tibetan government system of governance and also the education system and tried to modernize Tibet with hydroelectric power hydropower and so forth, and also making Tibetan currency. And later, you, Your Holiness, the 14th Dalai Lama, was born in Dakser, near the birthplace, in the vicinity of the birthplace of Master Tsongkhapa, and according to Bagdan Lhamos, uh, the visions that were shown in the lake of Bagdan Lhamo, you were recognized. And then you studied under your spiritual masters, like Gyebji Yongzin, Chichen Doji Chang, the great Vajradhara, Garden Throne Holder, Master uh, Ling Rinpoche, and Gyebji Yongzin, Chichang Doji Chang. Then you took the big shoe vows. Under the abbotship of Ling Rinpoche, and you have never wavered from your practice of bodhicitta. You have been engaged in the bodhisattva practices and also sowed the seeds of enlightenment in numerous disciples and students. And you've given Kalachakra initiations. With the undaunted courage, you gave Kalachakra initiation numerous times. 
and without being satiated with little knowledge, you studied logic and received many teachings of the Tantra, Goyasamaja, and so forth, as well as empowerment, including the empowerments, transmissions, and commentarial guidance. And being fully qualified with all this knowledge and transmissions, you took the temporal and spiritual responsibility of Tibet at the age of 16. And also made reforms in the Tibetan government so that the administration could rule with justice and also relieved the Tibetan masses who were subjected to serve them from their difficult life, relieving them from their taxes and so forth. And Hundreds of thousands of people, you gave teachings so that uh, they, you sowed the seeds for the spiritual path and enlightenment. And then you also traveled around the world to give teachings to so many different people. And so even the most learned scholars are of no match to you when you give teachings, empowerments, guidance, commentary, explanations of Tantra and so forth. And you also encouraged the students in the monastic institutions to study well and also you examined the studies, the debates and so forth. You have, in other words, served the dharma and sentient beings in profound and vast ways. And even when the whole of Tibet came under the occupation of the oppressive and suppressive rule of China. So you left Tibet, and tens of thousands of Tibetans followed you into exile, and you blessed them with 
daily needs. So with your far-sighted vision for the exiled Tibetans so that the Tibetans may not be deprived of their daily needs, food, shelter, and clothing. You set up the Tibetan settlements and then also to help their health, set up hospitals and clinics. And then for the monks, the institutions, monastic institutions were set up in Baksar and Dalhousie and so forth in other areas. And today, there are many, many monastic institutions, not only Buddhist institutions, but also the Bun tradition. For them, which also have produced many scholars who are qualified to become abbots of the their monasteries. And students from the trans Himalayan regions of India, Nepal, and Bhutan, as well as Mongolia, were admitted to these big monastic institutions so that the tradition of extensive and rigorous study of Buddhism would continue without decline. And then you also criticize the practice of Shugden, Tilgil. And you also, under your auspices, the Varanasi uh, Tibetan Central Tib Institution for Tibetan Higher Studies and other higher institutions were set up in India and other countries. And then you also gave teachings on the 18 different texts on the stages of the path to enlightenment. You gave teachings on Guesamaja Chakrasambara and Yamantaka. <laughs> The empowerments, transmissions, and guided explanations. So, to your kindness, the Dharma, you have spread the Dharma. Dharma has been spread to even lands where the teaching of the Buddha had not been heard before. And you have also, also helping millions of years young people to become free from difficulties. And you also bring harmony amongst the different traditions, Buddhist traditions of Tibet, as well as harmony amongst other religions, Hindu, Christianity, and so forth. You 
categorize the teaching of the Buddha into three science, philosophy, and religion. And you also created new bridge and between the modern science and traditional knowledge. Giving new eye of wisdom to many people. So this is a new chapter in your life. And then the middle way approach to resolve the Tibetan issue through which you you have the vision to resolve the Tibetan issue in an amicable way. So based on your visionary Far-sighted uh, visions and instructions, Tibetans inside Tibet have been able to come out to receive modern education and so forth, and Tibetan scholars from India in exile in India have been able to go to Tibet to revive our tradition. And then you are one of the foremost and pioneering spiritual leaders who raised awareness of the environmental protection in the world. Over-exploitation of mines, treasures, um, the sources have been warned to destroy the earth. So based on your great legacies in both spiritual and the temporal matters, you have been awarded with many different prestigious awards in the world, such as Nobel Peace Prize and the U.S. Congressional Gold Medal and so forth. Then you set up the democratic system of governance for Tibetans which is not in which there is no dis discrimination between men and women we are following the democratic system today where there is rule of law then, from 2001, you started devolving your temporal responsibility partially to the Kalun Tipa, the chairperson of the cabinet, Tibetan cabinet ministry. And then in 2011, you completely devolved your uh, temporal responsibility 
to the elected leadership. So the method for the resolution of Tibetan issue with China, for that you started the middle way approach and you have also given the Tibetan democratic system of governance. <laughs> So, for the resolution of Tibetan issue, you start the middle of the approach using non violence as your means. And then you also start the secular ethics for the world as well as reviving the ancient Indian wisdom tradition. And under your auspices and your vision, you brought out books like the philosophy and science in classical Indian literature, Buddhist literature, which cover science and, uh, and Indian philosophical traditions. So in other words, throughout your life so far, you have had no time to rest, but you dedicated your life with great diligence and perseverance for the benefit of all sentient beings. And so you have four commitments, secular promotion of compassion and human values through secular means, and you also take great uh, responsibility and you're dedicated to the environmental protection. And your second commitment is promotion of religious harmony, seeing there's every reason to respect or one another, these religious traditions, one another, because of teaching of love and compassion, and, and also you brought harmony amongst the Sajan Jing Makali Gaju Geluk and Chonang, as well as burnt traditions. And you, because of the total trust in you from the Tibetan people, you acted as the spokesperson for the Tibetans, and protection of Tibetan environment. You are responsible for this and promotion of Tibetan culture. And then fourth commitment is to revive the ancient Indian tradition. You never vivid from your dedication to protect sentient beings and the Dharma to serve sentient beings. 
the late Gabji Yong Zin Dojishang, Ling Rambuchi had stated that Your Holiness would be able to serve all different kinds of people and the Dharma as you desire. And Gyabji Doji Tijang Rinpoche, Doji Chang Tijang Rinpoche had said that whether the Dharma that brings peace and enlightenment for beings in the world survives or not depends on the life of His Holiness the Dalai Lama, Your Holiness the Dalai Lama. So Your kindness to us, the Tibetans, and other sentient beings is something that we cannot repay fully. But as a token of our gratitude to you, we make this offering uh, for your long life. In the form of, of these different offerings in on the mandala, with a fervent prayer to you. Though these offerings maybe as fine as the root of lotus flower, but we imagine this offering as Samandabhadra offerings to you. So your life is of utter importance to the Tibetans. Indispensable for the spread of Tibetan religion, culture, and tradition, and for the benefit of all sentient beings. We pray that you may not waver from your past aspiration and your pledge to look after the Tibetan people of the land of snows. And we hope that you will accept our fervent request to live long for the benefit of all sentient beings and particularly the people of Tibet. the use statue mm-hmm. 
embodiment of the body, speech, and mind of all the Buddhas, we offer these to you, the statue, the scripture, and the stupa, representing the body, speech, and mind of all the Buddhas. representing or symbolizing the different activities, the peaceful, the powerful, subjugating, and the wrathful. Species symbols, the parasol, the fish, the mortal nectar filled vase. That is offered to the Guru in order that the Guru, so that the Guru, Your Holiness, may His Holiness may live for hundred eons. <clears throat> so these offerings of the white conch, the right turning white conch. The endless knot, 
Jun, Gangi Chuo, Bajen, Belan, Zhen, 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 Raising the temporal and the spiritual. Matters to the top of samsara. Next is the offering of the wheel, the jewel. The queen, the, in other words, there are eight royal emblems. For the Guru to live a hundred eons for a hundred eons, to give us the teachings, the vast and profound teachings, requesting him to accept our offerings, kindly of accept our offerings. Next is offering of this eight auspicious materials. So the offering of the mirror, requesting as all of this to live for a hundred years. <coughs> so these substances were uh, said to have been uh, believed to be uh, been offered to the historical Buddha, Buddha Shakyamuni. And then that he blessed them. So this is a medicinal uh, herb uh, to which symbolizes destroying all the three poisons of desires, attachment. Desirous attachment, anger, hatred, and ignorance or misconception of reality. 
So next is offering of a curd or kheer, which Sujata offered to the Buddha. And so, as he was blessed by the Buddha, I make this offering to you, Your Holiness, also is the precept master for my bhikshu ordination. When and to win that a lot, then Next is the Birwa fruit, which was offered by, in the past to the Buddha by Brahma, God Brahma. And the Buddha blessed it. Next is offering of, of white conch. Right calling right conch. Next is the offering of Liti or Sindur. Did 
So the Buddha was offered by Vajrapani, his mustard seed, and was blessed by the Buddha. So I offer this to my master of ordination, Precept Master, Your Holiness, May you live for a hundred eons. The long life prayer of His Holiness, written by the two um, tutors, Lady Devji Ling Rambuchi and Lady Devji Tijang Rambuchi. So this is called the song accomplishing immortality. Comes to us the magical dance of the infinite conquerors, three secrets, all the appearing in such ways as team, wishing, wish granting gems, souls of all worlds and nirvana's goodness. Assemblies of kind, direct and lineage gurus. To you we make a request with intense longing. Grant inspiration that the Yatsu, Lord of this land of snows, may live a hundred eons, unperishing in his and his aims be achieved of themselves. And so in this way the prayer invokes the lamas, the meditation deities, buddhas, the dharma, sangha, the dakas and dakinis, and the dharma protectors, so dustless apparitions of great bliss wisdom acting like clouds in the whole Dharmadhatu sky, appearing as countless countless supporting and supported mandalas, all you assemblies of Yidam deities. Meditation deities, you, to you we make requests with intense longing, grand inspiration that the Yasuo Lord of the Land of Snows may live a hundred years, unperishing, and his aims be achieved of themselves. Abandonment and realization complete, you help with the perpetual play of the light of your actions in oceans of samsaric worlds, ten powered ones, gods and gods, God, God of gods, the old. You infinite conquerors of the three times, to you we make a request with intense longing, grand inspiration that Tenzin Gyatso, Lord of the Land of Snows, may live for hundred years, unperishing, and his aim to be a chief of themselves, liberating truly from the three worlds a store of jewels of uttermost purified peace, abundance of welfare, unmoving, all good, unpolluted, collections of holy dharmas of the three vehicles, to you we make a request with intense longing. Grand inspiration that the Lord of the Land of Snows may live a hundred years, unperishing, and his aims be achieved of themselves. Most brave in smashing the rebirth, cycle, cycle, rebirth cycles, machinery gifted with Gnosis, directly appraising true meaning, not stirring from liberation's Vajra city, all Arya Sangha of liberated knowledge. To you we make request in, with intense, intense longing, grand inspiration that Dinsen Gyasu, Lord of, the Lord, of Snow, Lord of the Land of Snows, may live a hundred years, unperishing, and his aims be achieved of themselves. In the skies, horrors, lands, the places, the churnal grounds, with 
plays with play that enjoys a hundred ways bliss and voidness, helping you again accomplish their ex excellent path. The assemblies of heroes and darkies of the three classes to you will make a request with intense longing, grand inspiration that Denzin Jasu learned Lord of the Land of Sinners who live, may live a hundred years, unperishing, and it seems be fulfilled of themselves. With inseparable knot fixed on your hair, a seal of your commission for the, from Vajradhara, skilled in garden the doctrine and its altars, the oceans of Dharma protectors with wisdom eyes to you. You make requests with intense longing, grand insp inspiration that in the land of the land of stores may live a years, and perishing and seems be achieved of themselves. So this next prayer is invocation of Dharma protectors of Tibet given by His Holiness in the 1970s. This is invocation uh, of Master Patna
live long. May you live long. May you live long. So today we have the exiled Tibetans, exiled Tibetans, young and old and middle aged, are offering this Denshuk long life prayer offering. But though physically they may not be here, but all Tibetans, there's several millions of them inside Tibet who have wholehearted faith and admiration of me, they also, of course, will have their prayers. And not only that, uh, there are people in the ev all around the world, east, west, north, south, who have heard that people are offering, Tibetans are offering long life prayer to His Holiness, and they are filled with delight. So I would like to thank everyone so Tibet, the land of snows, is well known to be the special land. The able to be tamed by Avalokiteshvara. So Avalokiteshvara in the form of flesh and blood and bones with such a body you cannot see them you can see him in this form but someone who is blessed by Avalokiteshvara and who has a karmic connection with Tibetans and Avalokiteshvara himself through karma and aspiration prayers, I'm the one who was born in the northeastern part of Tibet. It is very clear that, quite sure, that I have this special connection, karmic and aspirational prayer through them, so that I'm blessed by Avalokiteshvara. So, for Tibetan, Tibetan uh, culture and tradition, Dharma, and to, uh, Tibetan culture and tradition, I have really made a, a contribution to it. So the, the fact that the, it is well known for uh, around the world so I give this, I, I make this as an offering, I offer this as an offering to Avalokiteshvara as my practice, uh, offering of practice. And still, for the next two decades, I am, I, I, I may live for, uh, in, um, the, for the sake of Tibetan, uh, Tibetan course, the Dharma and its temporal affairs, I have worked hard for them. I will continue this contribution from me. 
So as a result of which, I have many people who admire me, not because I give them money, but because of my sincere uh, help and service to humanity, they are admiring me. So I, as the representative of body, speech, and mind, and making this human life a worthy one to live, I offer these contributions that I've made as a practice offering of practice to Avalokiteshvara. I, I meditate on bodhicitta as well as a view of emptiness. So as a result of which, I feel at ease in my mind. And because of that, I have good physical health. As soon as I wake up in the morning, I meditate and reflect on bodhicitta. And because of that, I have peace of mind and relaxed state of mind, being at ease with myself. And that in turn gives inner strength without having to experience fear and anxiety. So just as Chandideva says, I make this bodhicitta as my fundamental principle practice. Though I dedicate myself for the benefit of others, to reach enlightenment for the benefit of others, but as a byproduct, I have good health and also peace of mind within myself. And so, my friends, please think of bodhicitta well, and you will have good health, physical health, as well as... Experience of ease of mind, and so to fulfill one's goal as well as goals of others, to benefit others, to collect merits and positive energies as well as purify negativities, bodhicitta is the factor for these. So as soon as I wake up in the morning, I think of bodhicitta and please, my Dharma friends, you should also think of bodhicitta on a daily basis, as a result of which you will have good health and happiness, not only in this life, but in life after life. You have this. So I would like to urge you to do your best, work hard to meditate and cultivate bodhicitta. So as uh, this will be an offering to Avalokiteshvara in terms of practice, and through this you will have blessing of Avalokiteshvara. And so as a leader of Tibet, Tibetans, through my karma and aspirational prayers, I'm here and I will be here for the next two decades or so. And through the blessing of Avalokiteshvara, though I'm getting older, but I can still talk a lot to people, as we have a saying. Once seated, I'll spit out words of fire. So those who have con connection with me in this life, you will be taken care of and guided by Avalokiteshvara from life after life until you reach enlightenment, and you'll be able to reach enlightenment. And so those of you who are devoted to me, admire me, I would like to thank you for that. So I have some... Uh, Lama Chanesila Kudune, Tay Nanjo Sam Chogabel, 
So first is the source of all attainments, the yoga of inseparability of the Guru and Avalokiteshwara. So having respectfully paid homage to Guru Avalokiteshwara, the essence of compassion of all victorious ones, I perfect full moons possessing the white nectar of light blessings, I will compose the ritual of his, his profound yoga. Reliance on the Guru has been praised numerous times in many sutras and tantras as the root of the blessings and attainments. Similarly, seeing that the Guru who shows one their path non erroneously is inseparable from the Supreme Deity, making requests to him is in itself the essential and sole basis of the ultimate aim of enlightenment. Furthermore, although one can think that the Guru uh, is of one essence with any Deity in whom one has and as it is said, love, compassion, and the precious mind of Bodhicitta are like the soul, a life essence of Mayana path, and the great compassion. So here mentions about offering. Of course, we can make offerings of material things, but without the practice of altruism, Bodhicitta, and view of emptiness, external offerings may, may not mean much. So you should gather offerings and other ritual articles are at the pleasant location. And so he's almost commenting on these lines. And sit on a comfortable seat and then from the state of special virtuous mind, first engage in the meditations of refuge, bodhicitta and the four immeasurables. And then the text, actual te body of the text starts with taking refuge and generating bodhicitta and for immeasurables and then purifying the place, blessing, multiplying and presenting the offerings. So, then visualization in the spacious expanse of the spontaneous grid, bliss dharmakaya, at the center of the heap of clouds of various Samadabhadra offerings is a throne of radiant jewels supported by lions, on which is the seed of a lotus, sun and full moon. On this is Supreme Ayurveda great treasury of compassion, manifesting in the form of saffron robed monk, my gu root guru, the Vajra holder, possessing the three kindnesses, the great, the glorious Jitun Lo Sang Tenzin Gyaso, with a radiant pink complexion, blessed, pleased and smiling, your right hand at the heart of in the mudra of expounding the Dharma and holds a white lotus marked with the volume of scriptures and a sword, while your left hand is in the mudra of meditative equipoise and holds a thousand spoke wheel. You elegantly wear the three Dharma robes and of lustrous saffron and pandita's hat and color of refined gold. Your aggregate constituent sense fears sense spheres in the objects as well as your limbs are in the nature of complete mandala circle of father and mother of five Buddha families, the male and female bodhisattvas, the wrathful protectors, at the center of the sphere of assembly, assembled garlands of five colored lights, your two legs are in the indestructible Vajra posture, cross like a posture, and you send forth heaps of clouds of magical nets for the sake of the ghosts to be subdued. At your heart is the exalted wisdom being, Avalokiteshwara, with one face and four arms, one pair with the palms together and the other lower pair, holding a crystal mala and white lotus. He is beautifully adorned with precious ornaments and silken robes. His left breast is covered with the skin of antelope, and he is in the fullness of youth, sitting cross-legged on a lotus, moon, lotus and moon. And his heart is the concentration, at his heart is concentration being the radiant white ladder tree, from which light rays are radiated, radiate to the ten directions. My guru's three places are marked with the three vajras, Omahum, light rays radiate from the letter Hum at his heart and invite all the countless forms of three jewels. By them discovering, in, by 
discovering, dissolving into my guru, he becomes in nature the embodiment of all objects of refuge, and then the seven limbs. And then the Madala offering, the ground in order with the perfume strewn with flowers adorned with mountains, the four continents for sun, moon, etc. And then the body, speech, and mind of myself and others, as well as our wealth and co collections and so forth, and need them, Guru Bhatna, the blessing by the Guru then. From the syllable tree at the heart of my venerable Guru, nectar and light rays of five colors, sand descend, enter through my crown, purify all negativities and obstructions, all of defilements, all supreme and common attainments are attained without exception. And then the prayer of the gradual, the graduate path, the stages of the path to enlightenment. My kind Lord and guide on the unerring path, you are the basis of all temporary and long-term happiness. Having found certainty that you are a mass of countless refuges, please bless me to devote myself to you through pure thoughts and actions. This human life of leisure and fortune cannot be produced by even tens of millions of supremely precious jewels. Once obtained, it is transitory, and when it will be lost is uncertain. Please bless me to never be distracted by the activities and appearances of this life and to spend my time practicing the sacred dharma, the supreme protection from the terror of the lower rebirths that are so difficult to bear is holding, the strong, holding strongly on to ultimate refuge of the three jewels. Thus, by bringing to mind the causes and effects of positive and negative actions, please bless me with the strength to abandon negative actions and accomplish virtuous ones. Having seen that all the wonders of Ishvaran decept are deceptive, just like the seduction of a Rakshas and propelled by the fierce renunciation, please bless me to practice the three trainings so, here it says, having completely cut the flow of the all creating karmic winds with the sharp sword of the exalted wisdom of non dual bliss and emptiness, please bless me to realize in this life the Mahamudra of great bliss, the union body of body and mind. So, after having made the request to generate the complete paths of Sutra and Tantra in your mental continuum, and having done a glance meditation of this, recite the six syllable mantra together with the Guru entering your heart as follows. So the absorption and then the mantra recitation. And then the dedication verses. So that completes the transmission of the actual text, and this was requested 
by assistant cabinet assistant to cabinet minister Shen Kawa Yurmi Sonam Tobya by presenting offerings and making entreaties, saying that he needed a brief, complete glance meditation of a screening meditation of the entire path of the Guru Yoga of the inseparability of myself and Avalokiteshwara with the recitation of the name, mantra, and six syllables, as well as complete instructions of what should be done in a way that was very easy to practice and so forth. So this was composed by me, the Shakya Bhikshu, Jambi Ngawana Sanayashi Tenzin Gyatso. So we have Avalokiteshwara as our patron deity, and regarding myself, I have a very powerful and special karma, karmic and aspirational prayer connection through them with Avalokiteshwara. And so through the blessing of Avalokiteshwara, I have made this human life a worthy one. So I will still continue through the blessings of Alokiteshwara to continue my service. I'm determined to do that and to that this Tibetan issue will be resolved. So I pray for that and you should also do so. Thanksgiving mandala offering. Vajabhimi, the foundation is a vast, a vast, a vast strength. The ground is a goat. Vajrakyal, the boundary is a ring mountains. In the center is Mount Sumeru, the king of mountains. In the, in the east, Buravideha. In the south, Jambudeva. In the west, Abhargodaniya. In the north, Uttarakuru. To the east, Deha and Videha. To the south, Chamara and Aparachamara. To the west, Shatta and Uttaramantrina. To the north, Kurav and Kaurav. Here are the jewel mountain, the wishing tree, the bountiful cow and spontaneous harvest. There is a precious, the precious wheel, the precious jewel, the precious queen, the precious minister, the precious elephant, the precious horse, the precious general and the vase of great wealth. Here are the lady of charm. The Lady of Grand Garland, Lady of Song, Lady of Dance, Lady of Flowers, Lady of Incense, Lady of Lambs, Lady of Perfume. Here are the sun and the moon, here are the jewel canopy and the banner of universal victory. In the center is all the beautiful, bountiful wealth of gods and men. All these pleasing offerings, pure, perfect, and complete, we offer to you, gracious Guru. Together with all the glorious sacred teachers of the lineage, in particular, we offer this pure realm to you. Complete master of the doctrine of refuge and prayer, Lord of the Congress, omniscient and all seeing one, glorious and noble, Lord Jambal Mavanosaishi Tinsin Jasu, in request, in gratitude for your excellent acceptance of our pra prayer for your long life. Accept it with your, please accept it with your compassion for the sake of all sins and beings and accept it, grant, accepting it, grant your blessings, we pray. This ground anointed with perfume, strewn with flowers, adorned with Mount Meru, the four continents, the sun and the moon, visualizing it as a blessed Buddha filled, we offer it to you. May all beings enjoy the happiness of perfect, the pure Buddha filled, the perfect, the pure Buddha filled. So,
Samsara comes to an end. And this is a prayer of Amita Yus, the Buddha of infinite lifespan. of the teaching of the Buddha. Sage song of truth, a prayer that the Buddhist teaching is spread without sectarianism. Was, there's homage to the embodiment of four kayas, omniscient friend of the sun, Shakyamuni, measureless life and light, Amitabha and Amitayus, Arya Vrakitashivara, Manjushri, Vajrapani, Frowning Tara, the conquerors and assembly of Bodhisattvas, the seven great successors to the Buddha, the six ornaments, the two supreme ones, 80 Mahasita, 16 elders, and all whose only thought is to benefit the teaching and beings, sublime beings, all you Bodhisattvas, hear our prayer. For countless eons, the Supreme Muni, the sage, the great sage, perfectly completing the accumulation of merit and wisdom, rich ultimate omniscience, compassion and ability by the power of this truth, may the Congress teach doctrine in, the, in its entirety, long remain resplendent, the first to open the way for the Buddha's teaching, to light up the land of snow, mountains, the abbot, the master, and the Dharma king, translator Panditas, Vidyadharas, the 25 disciples, Lord and subjects, 
by the power of the Earth's Bodhicitta vows, may the Congress doctrine in the land of no longer remain resplendent within the vast teachings canopy of jewel. Jules is the great treasure of profound practice teaching, glittering with the brilliant rays of the profound vast hardisans made the conquest doctrine in the land of snow. Long remain resplendent in the vast expanse of the primordial purity of radiant light. All phenomena of samsara and nirvana are perfectly included. This, the peak of all vehicles, is the means leading to Samandabhadra's primordial citadel, made in the Congress doctrine in the land of snow. Long remain resplendent in the lineage of the profound view and vast practice, the entire treasure of instructions of which Adisha was the master, is the teaching tradition coming through Damtun Gevejungne, made the Congress doctrine in the land of snow, remain resplendent. The Congress words collected in the three baskets set out as instruction for the three capacities of beings is the golden rosary of the Kadam tradition may, with its seven deities and teachings. May the Congress doctrine in the land of snow long remain resplendent from the translator marked by Sheba Dorji and the rest. The Kadyu treasury of jewels in the source of blessings a marvelous oral lineage handed down from one generation to the next. May the Congress doctrine in the land of snows long remain resplendent. All phenomena and samsara and nirvana are the innate radiance of the mind. The realization of mind's very nature to be the Dhammakaya free from elaboration is Mahamudra. Mahamudra pervading everything that appears or exists in samsara and nirvana. May the Congress doctrine in the land of snow long remain resplendent. The masters who upheld the conqueror's teaching through the explanation, debating, and writing about the essential points of hundreds of texts on the outer and inner science, the Sutra and Tantra, were the teachers of the divine lineage of Quinn, the Sakya, passed with their great compassion, made the conqueror's doctrine in the land of long remain resplendent. And then comes the yellow lineage, and then the Kala Chakra tradition of within Joel, uh, the Jonang lineage. Next is also the long life, the prayer for the flourishing of the Dharma. It recounts the past life experiences and of the Buddha who worked hard to practice the pure dharma and help others. The practice of the, four, the six perfections recounts the Buddha's practices of morality, giving patience, concentration, wisdom.
Teaching of the Buddha, which dispels all the torments of existence and peace, spread to benefit the whole wide world with help and happiness. May those who hold them, scholars and practitioners, flourish in the practice of the ten Dharma activities. Utterly oppressed by the intolerable intensity of their negative actions, deprived beings are taught, tortured by interminable suffering, intensify their unbearable disease, wars, famines, and bring them the succor of. There's infinite joy and well-being, in particular the people of Tibet, inheritors of the Dharma, are being destroyed by the many evils of the barbarian hordes, male, violent, and heartless, in the river of blood and tears, arouse the forces of compassion that their torment may swiftly be stopped. Those who those hosts of savage oppressors, cruelly crazed by their own demonic passions, who bring ruin on both others and themselves, deserve our compassion. May they develop a complete vision of right and wrong and appreciate the benefits of loving care and friendship. Since a long time, the wish for my dear, the, the wish my most dear to my heart has been for all to be to enjoy total freedom in the national combination of spiritual and secular fears. Grant that I may soon have the fortune to take part in the celebration. And then the final dedication verses, two verses from the prayer of Samanda Bhadra, the king of prayers.